Okay, I'm Danny Goodwin, the Associate Editor for Search Engine Watch. We're live here from SES San Francisco 2013 with Master, Mr. Matt Cutts, the distinguished engineer from Google. You may have heard of him. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. So uh, we actually had some big news today in terms of uh, an announcement for Webmaster Tools, and we'd mm -hmm. like to add, just fill, yeah. fill our viewers in on what's new. Absolutely. So it's kind of nice because um, in the past, we've provided basically links sorted alphabetically. And people have said, we really want to have a better sample of links. We'd like to know more about the links so we can do better cleanup. We'd like to have more examples to have an idea of how things used to work. And so we've, we've radically changed how we're sampling the links. So we take our highest quality links, the ones that are in our sort of base index, and we reserve like 70% of that for random links, and then another 20 or 30% for random TLDs, random domain names. So you're going to get a much better diversity of links. In the past, like my domain name, it stopped at like h something.com. And now I'll get links that I can really get a better picture of what I can do if I need to do cleanup or anything like that. So we were happy to announce that at SES this morning. Yes, that was big news. And that's among a few changes you've been rolling out lately to give uh, webmasters more tools. Do you want to also maybe touch on a little bit yeah. on the, uh, the new penalty <laughs> viewer? Yeah, yes. thank you so much. Yeah, yes. I almost forgot. Yeah. So one of the most common questions we hear from webmasters is, OK, was there some manual action by the web spam team that means my site has been removed or demoted for some reason, or am I just not ranking where I am because of an algorithm? And so we've rolled out something called the Manual Action Viewer. And so whenever you load that up, it will basically tell you if the manual web spam team has found a violation of our guidelines and whether there's something that's a direct demotion or a removal. And we'll tell you what type of infraction it is. So we'll say, this is cloaking, or hey, we think this is keyword stuffing. It's really handy. And we'll even try to give you example URLs. So if you're a big site, you know, if you're WordPress.com, blog spot, you can get like a thousand different examples in each of 10 or 11 different categories of all the different sorts of things so that you can get an idea of how to clean things up, how to go about the reconsideration request process. Right. And today, uh, you and Patrick Thomas were discussing tough calls on content. What were some of your big takeaways? And Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, every search engine has its own editorial voice. So you'll hear search engines like Bleco, for example. They'll say, we hate content farms. We hate you know, made for AdSense sites. We're going to remove all those by hand. The, the philosophy from Google has historically been, if you crawl a lot of the web, if you're really comprehensive, you don't have the resources or the ability to get involved in a he said, she said. Mm -hmm. So our overriding philosophy is, number one, to be comprehensive. But number two, we try to prefer algorithms. Mm -hmm. And so rather than you know, getting into hand-to-hand -hand combat, you know, trying, to, trying to remove every single spam site in the world, we try to do as much as we can with algorithms. And we try to do you know, lots of different algorithms to stop cloaking and hacking and keyword stuffing and all that sort of stuff. But we can't do that perfectly. And that's where we have a great team of uh, the manual web spam team. And they help us not only in taking you know, care of stuff that the algorithms miss, but then training the next generation of algorithms. So what I'm really happy about is we've come up with a pretty scalable approach, but we're also pretty transparent about it. So that if there is some manual action that directly demotes or removes your site, you can, you can pretty much find out about it now. And you also mentioned a survey that you guys now have. Would you like yeah, to tell those? Yeah, I'd love to. Yes. You're giving me all the great yeah. stuff to talk about. So, so just a couple weeks ago, we um, we realized we're in a pretty good spot now. If you have a manual action, you can find out about it. And uh, as of today, you can get much better backlinks. So we said it's a good time to step back and say, what could we do even better? And so we put out a, a, a post on Inside Search, our, our, our blog that's just about search and search policy and that sort of stuff. And we've put out a web form where we're asking for suggestions to say, what could Google, Google do better as far as interacting with users or changing our policies and basically make things either more scalable or have a higher touch, you know, some way that we could improve it so that people would be even happier with Google. We really like that feedback. We'd love to get more feedback like that. I've been reading through that form and uh, we've gotten a lot of great responses, but we'd like to get even more suggestions if we could. And there was one other thing on Twitter. You recently asked for some feedback from uh, uh -huh. you know, smaller sites that aren't ranking as well. Could yep. you, uh, yeah, yeah. Are there any initial findings that you've seen or anything interesting so it, far from that? It's interesting because we had an engineer who was, uh, he had just finished um, promoting uh, his team had finished promoting more authoritative sites. So, you know, if you're a, a site in the medical area and you're really good about, you know, medicine, it would promote that as an authoritative site. And so he was thinking about potential new projects and he was thinking about, you know, what about small sites? 
And, uh, and I said, well, yeah, certainly we hear feedback from people who are like, oh, we see more brands or we see more big sites. And so why don't we just, rather than us sit around and try to think of small sites or use what we know, why don't we ask the web and say, okay, tell us if you think that you know of an underrepresented small site. And so the, the engineers have been digging through that. It's still very early days, but um, that's a really great way to collect feedback that's uh, you know, from around the world and maybe come up with better ideas on how we can improve our algorithms. Excellent. Thank you, Matt, for your time. Yeah. So, yeah, on behalf of Search Engine Watch and SES San Francisco, <laughs> see you later. See you. <laughs> <laughs> that works.